Hello everybody, in this video I'll try Dr. Oetker Restaurante Pizza Pasta. Yeah, in this case I don't know the price anymore. I think it was something between 1 euro and 85 cent and 2 euro 30. Something in between that I really don't know anymore. And I have to say I'm also a little bit annoyed because uh, the pizza already defrosted a little bit, I think, two days ago or so, because I wanted to close uh, the door of the freezer and I also thought the claw was dosed. But um, yeah, I think one drawer was not uh, really closed because uh, there was a little bit of food in the way and so the, the door also didn't really close. And uh, yeah, so I think uh, the whole food in my freezer got a little bit uh, defrosted. Yeah, and it's uh, now frozen again. So. Yeah, I hope the, the, the pizza is, is still good and also the other food. But yeah, we will see. So uh, maybe here is a little bit of ice on the pizza. That could be a sign that uh, it uh, defrosted a little bit, I think. Yeah, but uh, however, this is what the packaging looks like. Looks like. Dr. Oetker. Restaurante. Pizza pasta. Yeah, and I think it's always a, a weird feeling, a pizza with pasta. But I have to say, I already had something like this before from uh, Wagner two years ago or so. I also made a video about it. We have 410 gram here. And here you can see the nutrition information. 918 calories, really a calorie bomb, yeah. Or 3,855 kilojoule. And, um, yeah, I still know um, when it uh, comes to the other pizza uh, two years ago, I thought, yeah, pizza with pasta sounds really weird, yeah. But... Um, yeah, it was actually pretty good, I think. And uh, I uh, thought uh, two years two years ago, I thought, yeah, it's like eating bread with pasta or so. And I uh, thought it again. Yeah, I didn't know what what I uh, said two years ago, but I think I said something like this. And I also thought uh, the same yesterday or so. Yeah, I thought, yeah, it's like eating pasta with bread or bread with uh, pasta yeah but however um, we have 24% of uh, pasta here and they I think uh, they also used this kind of pasta uh, the Wagner pizza I don't know why I have no idea um, yeah the pizza is with uh, Pasta, tomatoes, and uh, cheese. And we have 14% uh, of cheese here. Mozzarella and uh, Edam. I really like Edam, I have to say. You can see the information for the oven. 11 to 13 uh, minutes. I would say let's open it. Yeah, I really don't know why they use uses uh, the same or why they use uh, the same kind of pasta if this has a reason or so I really don't know yeah but like I said it was actually pretty good I thought maybe it's uh, weird and the taste will not be good or so but it was actually pretty good Uh, I think the, the pizza is also a little bit defrosted now. So this is what it looks like. And we have also a spinach here. I don't know if you can see this. This green stuff here. And the Wagner pizza also had a spinach. I don't know why. Why it's uh, so similar. Because I think they use the same type of... Uh, uh, pasta, like I said, and they used uh, uh, also a spinach. Yeah, I don't know why, if, there's, if this has a reason also, but yeah. So it is. 
the pasta looks really seasoned. Oh, this is this is from the tomatoes. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, but this is what it looks like. I will put it in the oven and I see you in some minutes. So the pizza is fresh out of the oven, but not every part of the cheese melted. But yeah, okay. So it is. This is what it looks like. And I have to say, I uh, did make a mistake. Or oh, here for comparison. Wait. And uh, I made a mistake because um, here it says, where is it? But I didn't read it. Um, Preheat the oven, keep frozen until ready to bake. Okay. Uh, remove the film and then um, bake the deep frozen pizza on the rack in the bottom shelf of the oven. Yeah, I didn't do it. I uh, did put it in the middle. And uh, yeah, the last two minutes or so, uh, yeah, I put it down. But yeah, okay. So it is. So you can see the picture again and the pizza. Yeah, it's a relatively thin pizza, I would say. And I would say, let me cut it. But I think it's pretty good baked. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, I think the herbs are parsley and oregano. Reminds me of the other pizza. Of it, of the other uh, pizza pasta I had before. Yeah, but also because of the of the pasta, I think. Yeah, I think they use the same. This is what the bottom looks like. Yeah, like I said, relatively thin. Really relatively thin. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, yeah, like I said, somehow it's like uh, putting pasta on bread, but it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's also not really dry or so, but maybe the other one that I'm, I'm really not sure. I will not uh, uh, say something wrong, but uh, maybe the other one. I think when it comes to uh, to the, the Wagner pizza, I uh, also tried other Wagner pizzas. And uh, uh, I don't know if they always use, use the, the same tomato sauce, but I really like their tomato sauce, I have to say, I think. I think it was uh, Wagner where I really like the sauce. And it's also a uh, vegetarian, yeah. So 
So if you are a vegetarian, you can also eat it. We have no meat here. Yeah. Mm. It's pretty good. Definitely not bad. So if you don't know if you want to eat uh, pizza or pasta for uh, for dinner, yeah, this could be your choice. It's not hot or spicy or so, yeah. This not. You can also taste the spinach, I would say. Yeah, it's okay. It's uh, really okay. Not bad, not bad.